let's get started into Gaston's villain guide breakdown. So his objective is to remove all eight of the obstacles, and the purpose is obviously to make sure that he can marry Belle. So you can use allies and effect cards to get rid of your obstacles, but you have to remember that your opponents can also use fate cards to put the obstacles back onto your board. So you're gonna have to watch out for that. As you can see, they are all eight of those on those diamonds right there, which is part of the special setup. Place these on the diamond in each of the eight spots, and then you're ready to go for Gaston. So the first thing that Gaston can remove obstacles with is the effect cards. Now we've got four of them on the screen here. You have Temper, which is a cost of two power and you remove one obstacle. Swoon costs one power and you have to replace an obstacle, which is a bad thing because you're putting an obstacle back. But the good part about it is that you're going to be able to gain power or draw three cards. And that gets you closer to your objective potentially if it gets you a good card like Temper, Get Out, or Come Into the Light. Get Out is a power of five. Um, but it removes three obstacles and come into the light which is a power of three is to remove up to two obstacles from a single location so you can see kind of the breakdown there of there's different costs to remove different number of obstacles but they are all really really effective at getting rid of your obstacles especially if you combine some of them into the same turn you can kind of pull off a a sneak attack victory at the end. Another thing you can do is to use an ally to remove obstacles. So there's this guy's name. I am going to attempt to say it. It may be really bad. Monsieur Dark. Let me know in the comments down below if that was awful, especially if you know French, I apologize. But he's allowed to remove obstacle tokens by using the activate action and paying two power. So if you're not familiar, uh, this is one of the different actions you can do based on the location that you go to. And when you go there, you are going to have to be on a location that has the activate symbol and you have to pay two power in order to use it. Just like all other actions that you can do, you can only do it once per turn or once per action that is on there. So you can get rid of one obstacle every time you move to that location that has the activate symbol, but it's going to cost you as well. And then you can also do it by vanquishing heroes. Now, the Beast and Maurice are really powerful against Gaston because, first of all, they block some of his abilities at the top, but then also like the Beast, he's a six strength, so it's really difficult to get rid of him. But they also have a benefit for Gaston when Gaston gets rid of them. So if you look here, the Beast when he's vanquished, you're going to remove all of the obstacles from the beast's castle. Now, Maurice is the same, except for it's all obstacles from Belle's house. So you can strategically plan to vanquish them at the right time in order to get rid of both obstacles from one of those locations. So that can be a really powerful way to get rid of those obstacles, as well as then you're clearing up space so that the heroes aren't blocking your actions. Now, something to note is that you can't always rely on this because some people may not, they may choose to not play these villains on you because they know that they can be positive for you. So you're just gonna have to watch out for that. You may not, they may not play them on you. It just depends on the strategies that the other person is employing. So then replacing obstacles. This is a very unfortunate part of Gaston's, uh, but it's very good when you're playing against him. So you can put the obstacles back onto the board after they've been done. So we're gonna go over each of these four different fate things that do different things. So I've never seen so many books replaces one obstacle. So you put one back on any of the empty ones. Then saving my life, this one can replace either one or two obstacles depending on where you choose, but you replace all obstacles at a single location. And then it is you, this one can be really, really crazy. It says replace one obstacle in each location. So hypothetically, you only have one obstacle left. You've gotten rid of all the other seven. If somebody plays this card, they're gonna be putting four obstacles back, one at each location, and now you have five. So that one can be really, really tragic for Gaston, especially if it's late in the game. And then massaging my feet, you're going to replace any two obstacles. So that's a really good one to have as well. And then finally, the last thing that you need to know is that Belle, when she is in play, you cannot get rid of any obstacles. So if Belle's in play, and for example, you have the beast in play, you're not gonna wanna vanquish the beast at that moment because if you vanquish the beast, before you vanquish Belle, you won't get to remove those obstacles. Same with any effects. You cannot get rid of any obstacles until you get rid of Belle. So if she's in play, you wanna get rid of her really, really fast.